you like skateboarding? There are 12 million skateboarders in the U.S. today, and the impact from all those kick flips, grinds, and ollies can lead to serious injuries. That's where engineers come in, using science to create shoes that absorb impact and minimize injury. We took three kids to Etney's Soul Technology Institute in California, the world's first and only biomechanical research lab dedicated to skateboarding. Today, they'll meet scientists and pro skateboarders, perform experiments, and even try to design their own impact-absorbing skateboarding shoe. Come along with us as we discover engineering. These are three typical California middle schoolers with one thing in common though, they love skateboarding. We started the day at the corporate headquarters of Etney's Footwear. When I thought I was doing engineering, I thought there'd be in the cubicles or something, but no, it's insane. There's like these skateboards hanging from the ceiling. Yep, this is not your typical office building. There's skateboard sculptures, skateboard artwork, even furniture made out of skateboards. Hi, my name's Camille, and I'd like to welcome you to Etnies and Soul Technology. Um, I know you guys are going to be seeing a lot of stuff today, and I'd love to get you introduced to some shoes right now. So, want to follow me? Camille brings the kids in and gives them a lesson in the parts of a shoe. The top part is the upper, the midsole is the cushion platform that the foot sits on top of, and the outsole is the part that contacts the ground and provides traction. So we learned a little bit about how a shoe is built, and now I want to get you introduced to how it's designed. So you guys want to meet one of our designers? Yeah. All right, let's go meet him. This is Mathilde. Hi guys. She's Hi. one of our designers. We met Mathilde, who's a designer for the shoes, and she's great. And she actually let me design one of them, which was great because I love fashion design. After Molly got her fashion fix, it was time to go upstairs and meet the big kahuna, the man who started it all. They told us to go to walk upstairs to go see the CEO, and we went to his office and he wasn't there. There's no one here. He's got a nice chair, but I don't know why. The craziest thing, he came to us with, on a skateboard. Hey guys, how are you doing? Meet Pierre Andre Sinizer, founder and chief executive officer or CEO of Soul Technology Institute. Welcome to Etnies. Pierre is an engineer and a world champion freestyle skateboarder. He created the institute to study the science of skateboarding to help make shoes that would reduce skating injuries. I think it's kind of cool how Pierre devoted his life into skateboarding because the shoes that he makes can help people skate longer and get less injured because of all the technology he puts into his shoes. I want to show you where the real things happen. So do you guys want to come with me and check it out? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Warm up to you. Yes. Time to check out the lab. It's in another building, so of course, Pierre and the kids skateboard there. So it was kind of cool, like how Pierre, we were at his office and then we hopped on our skateboards and we started skating along the way. And let me introduce you to the math scientist, Jeremy and Matt. Meet Jeremy Dieterman and Matt Nevitt. They run the STI lab filled with amazing technology for the study of biomechanics. They didn't really look like engineers, but it actually turns out they're, they're actually skaters and they're also, also engineers, which is pretty cool. Biomechanics is the sports science field that applies the laws of mechanics and physics to human performance using computer modeling, simulation, and measurement. Oh, the biomechanics suit was actually pretty cool. They put you in this like really tight suit with all these little balls. And they have like nine cameras all over the place. They actually like see what you do. He showed us when he jumped off the stairs onto the sensor plate, how it affected his bones and what the impact was. The amount of impact force created by walking is about one time your body weight. Running is two times body weight. Playing basketball can be up to six times body weight and bailing downstairs on a skateboard can reach a whopping 17 times your body weight. Skateboarding and jumping off stairs can, is like 17 times your body weight and that's how people get injured and break your bones. And that's why you don't see a lot of heavy set skateboarders. So this is our physical testing laboratory, AKA the torture chamber. Matt was gonna show us the torture chamber. And of course Brendan was like, awesome, the torture chamber. I know engineers build things and stuff, but I'm one of those guys who destroy stuff. We saw all these machines that they had designed to test laces. There was one that tests the flexibility 
and there was another one that showed how grippy and how much traction the shoe had. It was kind of cool, like how they found how durable the shoes were, and they put some shoes in the oven. And they had this missile founder that that just like clanked into the shoes to see how much it, it could hold. It was just like bam, 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 bam. Later, the kids got to meet Lauren Perkins, another pro skateboarder who knows the importance of shoes that will protect you from injury. Soul Technology is the only skateboarding biomechanics lab that uses engineering, so it's really cool. Lauren inspired me because she has all this energy and enthusiasm, and she just attacks whatever she wants to do, so I like that about her. So, like, have you gotten any injuries or anything? Yeah, I'm actually just coming back from a torn ACL and meniscus. So had surgery and got that all fixed up. When I heard that Lauren got hurt, I mean, that pretty much like opened a, a door to me. Like it made me realize how important the technology is in skateboarding. You don't want to get hurt. Actually, a few years ago, I came in here and put the suit on, kind of like the skater did today. And it's really cool the way they do it because it shows what part of your foot takes the most impact. Um, and that's really helped me throughout the years. Do so you think? Engineering is pretty cool then. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. High fives, learn some good tricks. We're looking at a library of all the gel products and impact cushioning technologies that's in all of our shoes and boots. So which one is your best gel packed thing? Well, actually, I'm not gonna tell you because we're gonna do an experiment and we'll have you guys try and guess. The interesting thing about this is it has this mesh material and this mesh material is coated with a dilatant compound, which uh, is what's known as a non-Newtonian fluid that doesn't follow the same laws as physics as everything else. So actually when you push on this slowly, when you're just standing around on it, it's soft and squishy. But when you come down from a big fall or a landing mm -hmm. and you hit this, it stiffens up and spreads out the force. Uh, what's a dilatant? Well, uh, let's do a little experiment and I'll be able to describe it better that way. You can create a dilated material with cornstarch and water. Time for an experiment in impact resistance. Hit it really fast. It's now go slow. You can oh, go right through like it, right? Completely, you can go right through. But then, when you hit it, it just stops. The quicker you increase the load, the tighter the molecules go together, and they can't move past each other. But when you stop moving, the molecules can move apart slowly and it returns to a liquid. The experiment with the cornstarch was really fun. We got to see the dilatant component of their G2 gel. It's just a really fluid liquid, but when you push it really hard, it stops everything and compresses, which is really cool and it demonstrated what happens when a skater's foot has the impact on the shoe. I just want to dip my body in there. That's creepy. Now it's time for the kids to put their knowledge to the test. Time to design a sole with optimum impact absorption. All right guys, if you remember, we have different components of the shoe, the outsole, the midsole, and the insole. And what we're going to do today is have you guys do an experiment where you play around with different materials on the midsole and the insole and create your own cushioning technology. And what we'll do is we'll put them on our high impact machine here and see who does the best. So you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Right foot. Right, that found the right nose to this. We need to find a thick one. This one got it. Jeremy, he told us to make three shoes, and now we, we had our ideas. Well, I think this one's kind of stiff, and it won't provide much cushion. Mm -hmm. And this one is just kind of flabby. Mm -hmm. We tried putting different gel pads for the heel in, because we had to work together as a team. And then, of course, Brandon wanted to put like five of them in one slot, and we're just... Okay, I got it. This is it. All of them? Yes. It looks like a lunchable. I don't think that's going to fit. <laughs> sure, sure it will. I don't not fitting. think that's going to work. And this one is the G2 Platinum, which no. has the dilatant property, which we tested with our cornflour and water. 
So that's the part where if we hit it, if it hits really hard, it'll spread the force out. So I think this is a good option. Kevin tried them on because they were his size, and he decided which one felt the best and which one he could um, perform the best in. So we based our results on that. This is the first, second, and third. Yes. All right, guys, what'd you guys come up with? Our shoes. Oh, our shoes. This is number one, two, and three. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on our high impact machine, okay. and we're gonna test how good a job you guys really did. All right. You guys ready to find out? Yeah. Lovely. Cool. And so then we got to test them on the missile drop machine, which Jeremy helped us with. And we're gonna do this three times, so I'll raise it back up, okay. and you can hit the black button again. So for the impact, we had we don't want to put t so much uh, stuff into the shoe or the skateboarder can't feel the board that they're riding on. All right, guys. So your third one didn't do as good. It got 141. And what we're measuring is Gs or impact accelerations. And we want the least number of Gs that will be applied to your body, which means the less force that goes up through your skeleton and your bones and your ligaments and your muscles. And so 141 is a lot of G's. Whereas your second shoe only had 95, much better. Our second best, which felt best on Kevin's foot, turned out to be the best, had the best impact resistance. They did it. Their designs met with the lab standards. All right guys, since you guys did such a great job today, you guys learned what it is to be an engineer with designing, testing, and creating your own cushioning technology for skate shoes. I just want to thank you guys for doing such a great job, and I want to officially call you guys STI Junior Engineers. Sweet. Thanks. I thought it was kind of cool to be junior engineers. Hey guys, how'd the experiment go? Great. great. Cool. Well, since you guys did such a good job, uh, as a special gift, I want to invite you guys to our employee store and let you pick out whatever you want. Awesome. You serious? I'm serious. No jokes. Not He's joking. not kidding. I love you, man. <laughs> I love you. I have somebody here that's an amazing skateboarder. You may have heard about him on TV, in the skateboard magazine. Ryan Sheckler! It's pro skateboarder Ryan Sheckler. The kids didn't know they were going to meet a celebrity. Ryan Sheckler comes skating out of the door. I was in total shock. I couldn't even speak. The kids got some skate time with Ryan and then sat down to pick his brain. Did you ever want to be an engineer? Yeah, man, I really did. I wanted to be an engineer. I took it serious in school, and then, you know, I found skateboarding, and it kind of it changed my life 100%, saved my life. I love it. You know, I would never give up anything for skateboarding, so... You know, the engineer days are kind of a little bit past me now, but you know, who knows? Maybe in a couple of years I'll go back to school and try to get an engineering degree. You know, engineering plays a big part in really anything you want to do that is tricky, that you need to figure out how to get to point A, from point A to point B. And then we got to spend so much time with him skating around. And I mean, he's such a great guy, and he told us about how his dad's an engineer. And so he closely, he relates to this and how just because you're an engineer doesn't mean you have to be nerdy or sit at a desk. You really get to be out there and uh, you know help people do something great like skateboarding. I mean, how cool is that? I think I'll be a pretty good engineer, so I'm gonna see if I can get a college and learn about engineering. Engineering is basically people working as a team to make something great. I'm glad I had a chance to discover engineering. It's pretty awesome. It was a cool day of meeting with the pros of skateboarding and the pros of engineering, and meeting the only CEO in the world that can do this. 